Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Aries? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whenever you come across this reading, I hope everyone is staying safe. I love you guys. How are y'all doing? I hope you had a beautiful weekend. We're going to get started. I'm going to hold you long. To new viewers, cross watchers, come on in. Take what resonates. Leave the rest for someone else. Remember, take what resonates. And there are uh, lessons, blessings, and confirmations in all of my readings, okay? So we're going to get started. Spirit, guys, divine universe, as you give me clarity, understanding, most of all, your divine protection. This is for Aries. Let's see what's going on with your energy, Aries. Okay, so your first card came out is the light. Next card is pray. Next card is, ooh, lover. Hmm. Yeah, I know. I know. The bottom of the deck, the bottom of the deck is taking the first step, Aries. So something has, something you've been praying about. Something has, uh, you, you've been praying maybe for a love or you, something has come to light about a lover, about someone that you are involved with. Or you are praying for someone to come into your life, um, Aries. Um, so let's get some more energy. You got fear here. Change. Okay. Peace. Bottom of the deck is freedom, Aries. Bottom of the deck is freedom. So Aries, it looks like to me that there, um, something's come to light and it, um, it says fear. It says, I realize that I am testing, uh, I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Okay. Yeah. What, what this is showing me, you got light over fear. Okay. Light, seeing the light over fear, coming to light, uh, accepting something, all right? Um, I feel like there's a strong light over your fear. You've been praying about this. You got prayer that is clarifying change, okay? And this card says, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement, all right? So there's a major change, a major shift that's happening. Uh, you prayed about this, okay? So you have love and you have peace clarifying love. That's beautiful. All right. So this card says, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Freedom was at the bottom of this deck. And it says, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. So... I feel as though that there is about to be a major shift, a major, major change in your life, Aries. Uh, you have prayed about it. You have went to God, divine, whoever your highest source is. Um, to overcome this fear when it comes down to love, okay? When it comes down to a connection, maybe you're in a connection or maybe you're trying to get out of a connection, whatever it is. You are trying, you want peace, okay? That means that you're ready to change and remove all negative energy from this relationship, from this connection, from this situationship is what I'm, what I'm, you know, Spirit Guides is showing me. So I, it's showing me, Aries, that you've been praying for this change. So for some of you, you've been ready to get out of this connection. For some of you, you've been hoping and praying that this person, uh, this energy that you're feeling from this person, that you've been going through a lot of negative energy, that you can begin to have peace, okay? So for some of you, um, for quite few of you, this is about removing negative energy. Maybe a negative person, maybe someone that you love, someone that... You care a lot about, but I feel like 
it's not getting you anywhere because this 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 card says change i understand that nothing can grow or evolve without change You've been praying for a change. You've been praying for a miracle. You've been praying for this person, maybe someone in your life to get it together, to, you know, change their ways to, you know, but it has not. So I feel like you have been tested when it comes down to your love, you know, towards this person. But I feel like you're really beginning to see the light about this whole situation and you want peace. You're ready to remove this negative energy. I feel I, spirit guys just show me somebody's having headaches. It just came into my spirit. You're tired of the headaches. You're ready for you. You're ready to create your own happiness. You're ready for your freedom. Okay. You're ready to go towards something that's going to, you know, where you can create your create happiness. I, I just feel like you're just ready to be by yourself. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. I don't know who this is for, but change does take place when you move, when you involve, when you grow. So this can mean that you're outgrowing this person, Aries. Yeah, sometimes we can. Sometimes it's like you keep going around the same merry-go-round, the same situation with the lover or the love of your life, or, or at least you thought it was, or this person, this situationship, however it resonates in your life. I don't know your life. And you're ready to, you've been praying about it. You're ready to, you're ready for a change. You're ready for your freedom. You're ready to create happiness. You want your peace. Okay. You have you know, prayed about it. And you know, you see the light, you know, what's going on here. Okay. You definitely know what's going on here. And you've been praying for a change for some of you, very small percentage percentage of you. You've been praying that your partner would change and, and, and do better and get better. But let me tell you something. And like I've said many, 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 many times in my readings is that you can't make anyone change. A person's going to change because they want to change. OK, maybe you're praying for this person, this person to change, to, to you know, to to see what you see and to, you know, a person ain't going to change not unless they want to change. So if that person is not willing to change Aries, it's time for you to change your change your situation. Okay, it's time for you to change your situation. Life is short. Okay, life is very, very short. And we, you know, we could be here today and gone tomorrow. But this this change, you're outgrowing. You're ready to evolve. You're ready for movement. You're tired of the the negative energy you want peace i need you to put this blue color heart as many times as you want to in your comment because we're going to release this into the atmosphere okay it's all about your freedom it's all about your peace let's find out let's 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 pull one more energy card here Spirit guys, tell me more for Aries reading. Yeah, I feel like you've been praying for a change in this relationship. You've been praying that someone would change and grow with you. Okay, if not, you're just ready. You've been praying for a change that you're ready to leave this person. That you're ready for peace. You're ready for freedom. You're not happy. You're ready to move forward. Okay. You're ready for mo to move forward. You're ready for more. Maybe this person is still, this person's stagnant. This person is not wanting to move. Maybe this person feel like oh, it's nothing we need to work on. What's wrong with how we are now? Because we're not getting anywhere. We're doing the same thing, okay? Some of you been in a situationship or relationship or whatever kind of ship you want to call it for years and have not gotten anything out of it. What, maybe Children? Maybe a headache. Maybe, you know, you haven't got nothing out of it. For yourself, your happiness. It's time to move forward. Change take place when you evolve, grow, and move. You're ready to move.
limitless. Change take place. I'm telling you, you cannot, you is you can't, you can't afford to allow somebody to stunt your growth. If they ain't want the change, and I I know it, I know you saying, Miss Positive Thoughts and Energy is easy said than done. Absolutely, it is. But once you set your mind to it, once you said I want to create something else better in my life, once you create your reality and you set your mind to it, then you're going to get up and you're going to move. You're going to get up and you're going to move forward and you're going to create happiness and peace in your life. Yes, yeah, easy said and done when you are really not ready. But when you are really ready, you know, that's why they say cold turkey. Because some people just boom, just do it. They just cold turkey, just leave. They just cold turkey, just go. They just cold turkey, just, you know, because your mind is made up. Your mind is set, set to where you're saying, I release negative energy. I want to set in my peace. I want to set in my freedom, my peace that I possess. So, yes, it can. You can say, oh, it's, uh, you know, you, it's, it's easy said than done. That's because you're not ready. That's because you're allowing this word right here to interfere with your mindset. That's why you say it is easy said than done, because you have not really set your mind out to do it. Now, you have prayed about it. You have saw the light, God, divine, whoever your highest source, the light is there. Your light bulb is on, but the fear is the unknown. So you really have not set your mind to it. If some of you are saying it's easy said than done. Now, for the other ones, some of you just cold turkey say, I'm finished. I'm done. You, if you don't want to change, if you don't want to grow with me, if you don't want to evolve with me, if you don't want, if you don't see what I see, why are we doing this? What are we doing here? What? What are we doing here? Because we're not getting anywhere. Oh, I don't know who this is for. Ah. Change take place when you get up and you move and you set your mind to it and you create what you want in your life. Some of you have been praying for a new love to come into your life. Well, how do you expect for that to happen? You got to get up and you got to put yourself out there and you got to, yeah, you got to evolve. You got to grow. You got to, you know. You got to get out of this negative way of thinking that no one's coming. Uh, da, 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 da. It's time to move forward. You deserve happiness. You got to believe. It's all about believing. Move forward and believe in yourself. If you're ready to leave this connection or you're ready for a new connection, however it goes, tomato, tomato, whatever it is, you have to believe in yourself. You have to set your mind to it and say, I can do this. I got this. And also, if you're not willing to grow with me and go with me, then I'm sorry. I got to leave this state of mind. I got to leave this state of of this connection, this situation ship that I am in. I need to go to my freedom. I need my freedom. I need my peace and my joy. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, let me get this card. So it says, Aries. Walk in your own truth. What you believe, what you want, what you create. What you create. It's time to walk in your truth. 
not living and, and standing back and, and praying that this person change after you don't gave this person a, a, a chance after chance after chance after chance. And they still ain't growing. They still ain't evolving. And you are speeding up like lightning in your growth. And it's like you're sitting and you got your arm crossed. So you just sitting and you pray every night when you get in the bed with him or when you get in the bed with her and you praying and you praying when spirit God says, I already done showed you the light. I already showed you what you need to do. Now it's up to you. You got to believe in what it is that you want, Aries. If not, <clears throat> what's going to happen is that this person is going to control your destiny. Because he or she don't want to move. He or she is going to control your destiny. And you need to walk your truth, walk what it is that you believe in, walk what it is that you want out of life. And that's happiness, that's freedom, that's prosperity, that's abundance, that's good health, that's whatever it is. That's your path. You can't walk a path for somebody else that's not willing to change. You can't do it. Not unless you just want to stay where they're at. And it looks like in this reading, you're ready to move. You're ready to, you're ready to move forward. And sometimes, uh, uh, sometimes you just, a person's not going to change. Sometimes people don't change till you actually, till, till you actually remove yourself from, the, from uh, the, the situation. Sometimes they don't change. Sometimes they will never change. But is that for you to step back with your hand on your hip and say, well, I'll wait Absolutely not. I don't know who I who you are today. I know who I am, but I don't know who you are today. But I'm speaking this into your life. You know, you already know the answer. What you are praying for something, you already know the answer. Change. Destiny. You got to walk in your truth. Didn't I just talk about it? The wheel of fortune, destiny. Good luck, good fortune. You cannot allow someone to stop or stunt your growth and stop you from your destiny. Walk your own path, Aries. It's all about your destiny. Communication is coming in. You've been in hermit mode for a long time, for some years. You haven't been happy or you've been, you've been, if you haven't been, well, yeah, if you've been in a connection, if you've been in a, a relationship, a connection, situationship, it's been a long, it's been a lot of years. You're still in communication with this person and you're not happy. You see, at the bottom of the deck, a lot of lies, a lot of deceit, a lot of energy, okay, just a lot. Okay, a lot's been going on in this connection. You know, and that's up to you. You already know the answer. See, you got the queen of cups in the reverse. You don't care. You don't care about this person no more. You ready for a change. You ready for your freedom. You ready for your peace. You're tired of the lies. You're tired of the, the cheating, the, 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 the lies that they tell, the hiding, the everything from you, the stealing, the everything from you. And you've been, you, you, like I said, you're still in communication with this person. You're still in communication, but it's time for you to walk your path, walk in your truth. You already know the answer. What's your destiny? This is your, your destiny, walking in your truth. Good luck, good fortune. It's time for you to change. It's time for you to live your life. I don't care what situation this could be. Okay? For some of you, you've been holding yourself back from your own, from, from getting love in your life. But I really am going, Spirit is really showing me that this is someone that you've been involved with between one, nine years, ten years. You got to believe that you can do this. You got to believe that, you know, sometimes we just got to let them go. And you got to go towards your peace and your happiness. Are you ready to remove the negative energy? It, it's just that you got to push yourself to do it. You got to make your, your mind, you got to set your mind up to do it. 
And it's only hard because you're allowing it to be hard because of fear. You've been through a lot. You've been through a lot of pain with this person. You've been through a lot of trauma with this person. Part of you want to end it and some of you don't want to end it. Some of you are uh, uh, wanting, praying that this person would change. You have so much passion and love for this person, but you also at a crossroad. Yeah. See? See? See how you're thinking? Overthinking, thinking, overthinking, thinking, overthinking, thinking, overthinking, thinking, thinking, overthinking, thinking, overthinking. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Strong Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in here. Could be a little bit of earth sign in here. Could be a Sagittarius in here. Definitely strong Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yep, look at that. You're, look at here. Look at here. Cancer Scorpio, I see some of you walking away from and you manifesting. Some of you already don't walked away. Some of you are about to walk through that door and you're not going to look back because you're ready to create your own happiness. This may have already happened or this is about to happen, but you're manifesting. You manifested to walk away from this Cancer Scorpio, Pisces, baby, because this is your it is your destiny to walk in your own truth. To walking in your own path and to believe in you, to believe in you and to grab and get your peace back and get your freedom back. Your mindset, because you were stuck and vulnerable at one time. Now, a lot of you have done a lot of healing and you in your happy place, your happy place. My goodness. <coughs> yeah, you're protecting your heart and your territory. Change take place when you evolve and when you move, baby. When you evolve and when you move, change take place. Yeah, you had to cut it out. It caused you a lot of anxiety. You went through a lot with this person. I told you between one to eight years, one to nine years, one to ten years, you went through a lot. Strong, strong, strong Gemini Libra Aquarius. Yep, you got tired of the BS and you woke up. You woke up. You said, I'm done. I'm done. If you ain't wanting to change, if you don't want to get it right, get it together, I'm, I'm going towards stability. I'm going towards what makes me happy. I'm going towards a, a, a more better, stable life. And you woke up. A lot of you woke up and you left this person. You got tired of this person BS. You walked away. Clearly, clearly, clearly. You walked away and you manifesting your peace and your joy and happiness. I see that a lot of you said, you know what? I got to believe in my own self. You got to believe, got to believe in me. You started believing in yourself and you came, you, you realized that this person was not going to change from their ways. And you said, it's time for me to go. Don't forget to put your blue hearts, however many hearts you want to put in there because you got your freedom and you got your peace back. I am Positive Thoughts Energy Aries. Until next time.